and welcome to BA Survival. Today I'm going to be showing you five methods how you can light a fire using the sun. Okay, so as always, if we're doing uh, solar ignition, we don't want to be looking directly at the sun and we want to protect our eyesight. So make sure that you wear your sunglasses. It's actually really sunny, but there are a few clouds, so I want to raise onto one particular spot. So the first and easiest method is to actually get a large magnifying glass. And as you can see there, um, the magnifying glass makes quick work of trying to light a fire um, even on pieces of uh, dry wood dry punk wood again really strong magnification there nice bright focal point and again that's going to burn and smolder. Oh, maybe you require reading glasses. Or Again, here I'm using uh, just bits of dry grass. You can get neat little devices like these. So you can buy, buy these and these are actually sold as cigarette lighters. The idea is exactly the same, but in reverse. So you place your cigarette here, it collects the sun's rays and it will light that uh, as a renewable source rather than constantly needing uh, to use a lighter. Focusing that at the sun. Once you're happy you've built up a large area of it that's that's charring and burning you can then blow that and transfer that into your tinder bundle frenzel uh, lenses nice and uh, light can easily be kept in your wallet don't take up any more space uh, than a, a normal credit card and with that you can then magnify the sun's rays again uh, grass finds that focal point again doesn't take very many seconds for that to start smoldering and this is such a light thing can be kept in a survival tin like you say even just kept in your wallet you can use a can polish the bottom it works exactly the same as this little device just slightly smaller and I'll actually put out a video of uh, that complete process for using the can but it's not now. quite a small amount there. The small item that many of us might keep into survival tins or again just genuinely have in your wallet a condom and these can be used to light a fire with. I can make a ball out of water and again line up the sun's rays. Tie that into a knot. The sun's gone in again. But we are managing to at least get a focal point. the the prints we've not got a uh, charred cloth but we've got a nice piece of uh, charred uh, punk wood there see that but that has that has caught so even though it's not the, you know the dry grass that has definitely worked. If you 
in hotter places or towards hotter times of the year it will work a lot uh, better at the minute we're in sort of April in the UK so fairly warm but again uh, the sun's rays could definitely be a lot stronger thank you for watching please like uh, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video Ah, don't squeeze it too hard because it then bursts all over the place. It's finding that fine balance between squeezing it hard enough that it makes that really nice circle and squeezing it too hard that you actually just throw a water bomb at yourself. <laughs>